welcome back to Geo and Grace. As you guys know, we are having a baby girl. It's getting pretty close to that time. Yes, we're weeks away. It's getting very close. You guys know what that means. We gotta be ready, right? Today, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be putting together, mainly me, Grace is gonna be <laughs> helping me out as much as she can, but we're gonna be putting together a storefront. Maxwell convertible. That's right. So we actually got this one from Target. They delivered it to our home so we didn't have to pick it up, which is really, really nice. Really convenient. So uh, we're hoping that we like it. We, uh, we're we excited. We're excited to put this together. Babe, how are you doing right now? How are you feeling? Good. Just getting big, big, big. Yeah. So Grace is almost uh, there. Pretty much. She's nine months pregnant. The baby is, is coming very, very, very soon. So we're just excited. Are you excited, baby? Yes, I'm very excited. Yeah. Okay. Nervous? A little bit. A yeah. little bit. Delivery is always like a nerve-wracking thing, but... Yeah, I'm a little nervous too. But I'm not, I'm not the one in delivery, so I, I, I get lucky with that. And so, another thing that we wanted to do, and the other day, Grace was asking me this really cool, uh, interesting, like, questions, kind of like talking about a relationship and just kind of going more into into our thoughts and into our feelings, which is really cool. By the way, we also have a very, very similar uh, actual live stream um, for our members. So if you're a member, make sure you check that out. We, we thought we'd do something similar to that today. I'm gonna be building this and Grace is gonna be asking me some very- I'm gonna be drilling him with questions. And I'm gonna be as honest and I'm gonna be as detailed as possible with my responses so that way we can have a little bit of fun while we're building this. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. If you guys do, please make sure that you guys Hit that like button if you're new to our channel make sure you hit that subscribe button we are on the road to 2,000 subscribers and we would love it if you guys joined our family as well so we'll see you guys right now while we build this crib Ugh! So I got myself a knife right here. I'm gonna just go ahead and start opening up the box. First thing I like to do anytime I've ever built anything is to take everything out, start getting all the trash put to the side, and start getting all the hardware that I'm gonna need, all the frames for the for the crib. Make sure that I get those put to the side. Usually they're labeled, so we want to make sure that we put all the ones that are together together, all the same ones together. So what I'll do is I'll flip it over, and then on the back here, that's where it has all the all the places to open it and so we're moving the room around a lot we're making a lot of changes to our bedroom so as you notice it's kind of like bare bones and we have a lot of boxes everywhere so with the incoming baby we're trying to uh change it up make sure that we have enough room for her all right this can see here ah call me fruit ninja except i'm not cutting fruit so i'm gonna flip this over once more all right, let's take a look in a book. Let's see what we have here. Okay, there you go. So you guys can see here, we have our hardware. We have, uh, let's see. So this is the Maxwell 3-in-1 convertible crib. And so I think these are the instructions. Let me open them up. So as you guys can take a look here, it has all the, the parts right there. Shows you the way it looks like disassembled, but more or less how it's gonna look once you start assembling it. All the hardware, these are our instructions. All right, so perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the previous page. I'm gonna take a look at all the hardware, everything that we need to put it together, and then we'll start from there. No, that's cool. I, I don't mind building these things. Uh, these obviously for my kids. I love my kids, but it is it could be a little hard. So these are all the hardware I'm gonna open it make sure We have everything and everything should be in here and what's really cool usually with these two is they'll give you extra So we have all the hardware right here, everything labeled right here, which is really, really awesome. Makes it 10 times easier and it's all put together 
it's all ready to go. All I have to do is just find what I need and start putting it together. So like always, like I told you, we're trying to move the trash out of here. Because this box has been in our living room for like a couple days. Because we knew that we want to record this for you guys. So we had kind of like saved it there until we had the opportunity to do this. And so yeah, we're excited. Excited to show you guys how we put these things together. I know especially if you're like a first time parent, this is one of those things that, you know, can seem pretty stressful and overwhelming. So as you guys can see, everything is wrapped up nice and neat for you. All right. We have also, let's take a look at some of the rest of this, the paperwork that comes. Uh, so this is kind of like the, the warranty, I believe. This is kind of like the information, the customer uh, care hours and all that stuff, which is really great. Because especially with these things, sometimes they do break. It tends to happen. Oh my gosh. And then it says, welcome to the family little one. This is, and then we put our baby's name, very first crib. You were only, and then we'll put the age, old. Your first night's sleep in it was, and then we're gonna put the date it lasted for, and then we'll put the number of hours. You slept soundly through the night on, and then we'll put the date that she slept really good, and then your family thinks your end, and then we have to put an adjective, sleep. and what kind of sleeper do we think? And then a picture of their crib. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Thank you, thank you so much, Storecraft, for that. That's really cool. You wanna take a look at this? Oh, it's like a little certificate. Yeah, it's like a little certificate. Oh, that's so neat, I like that. So let me start taking out some of these things. can tell when some of these are pretty much the same some of these are pretty much going to be different okay trash 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 let's move the trash over let's get this there you go we got one big frame right here. Woo. Okay. We got the next one right over here. So I'm gonna put these together. They're about the same size, it looks like. We got this one right over here. This one's gonna very probably be one of the side rails. I think those are gonna probably be more for the front, the front and the back. But this looks like a really long side rail. Got more trash. Next side rail. So we got two and two. And the rest of it, let's see what we have here. Might just be trash. Oh no. Definitely not trash. Alright, this is gonna be where we put the mattress. Oh yeah. Plenty of trash there, I love it. So oh it even tells you how to put the mattress. Obviously. Definitely wanna Make sure you don't throw everything away and you check it. So we have this very, very important piece here where we're gonna put our uh, baby's mattress. It looks like that might be it. And so what I'm gonna do too is just to make sure I have all the trash going away. I'm gonna take these and start just taking this off. I'm just gonna make sure that I take them out of those uh, foam wrappers, whatever you wanna call it. I think that's the hardest thing when you're trying to put everything together and you have a huge mess all over the place and you can't get around it feels like it just makes it that much more difficult so I want to make sure that we get organized before we get building and I tried like I said put the ones that look pretty much exactly the same together so if you do have a small vehicle like a sedan a coupe something smaller you're not gonna want to go and pick this up have it delivered that's definitely going to be the best route for you. It's really cool because certain stores like Target, I believe if you order a certain amount, they offer free delivery. So take advantage of that. Take advantage of that. Now I'm going to take this trash out. We have everything cleared out here in the room. All I have to do is really start getting into the instructions and seeing what my first steps are going to be. I'm ready to go guys. I have my toolbox here just in case I need any extra tools. Usually a lot of this stuff is going to come with its own Allen wrenches or any other kind of screwdrivers you might need, but it never hurts to have something on deck just in case you need it, just in case you need it. All right, so let's take a look at the first instructions here. All right, let's see how I'm gonna do this. Hopefully I don't mess it up. What's the over and under of me messing it up? Put it in the comments, what do you think? And then wait till the end of the video, please, to see if I did or not. As I start 
these first steps, my babe has a question for me, right? You have something lined up? <laughs> so my first question is, how are you feeling about um, building a crib, your third crib that you built? Um, nervous? I think I told you too that I was feeling a little nervous just because I don't I don't want to mess it up. It's been a while. It's been, what, eight years since we built the crib? So Nine years? Going pretty fast so far. Yeah, I mean, I got everything out, so it's really, really cool. Got everything out. Very convenient. Very happy about that. But, of course, I, of course I'm going to feel a little nervous. The reason I feel nervous is because sometimes these things could be very brittle. And so if I'm screwing it in too hard, I don't want to break it. I want to make sure that this is nice and safe for the baby girl, so... Overall, nervous, but I'm excited too because I'm doing it for you guys, which is really, really cool. Very fun. Keep track of your stuff, guys. Keep track of your stuff. So we got these two right here that we have to put together. What's your next question, baby? Give me one more. That one was a softball <laughs> question, I felt like. Are going to connect this to the rail. So I need actually one of the rails. Two of the rails, actually. These smaller ones. So we have these right here, and we're going to be using these right now. What is some advice that you live by in life? Oh crap, that's hard. <laughs> you know, obviously like a lot of people tell you to just to be positive, right? To let things go and, and try to be like affect things in a positive way. I would like to believe that that's how I live my life. I'm not gonna lie. There's plenty of times where I get upset or not feel happy or feel like frustrated. But if I try to live by one moniker is that it's just try to look positive. Um, and live in the moment, but it's hard guys, but that's what I try to live by. It's not perfect, but um, You know, especially with having a baby and everything on the way having already two kids having a wife and everything I just want to enjoy my days What about you, babe? Same question for you I didn't know I was answering these questions <laughs> <laughs> Now you are okay. huh. uh, What is some advice that you live by? Um Honestly, the golden rule, always the golden rule, which if you don't know what the golden rule is, much, most people do, is uh, do unto others as you would want done to you. So I always feel like it's good to treat others the way you would want to be treated. So it's always good to be kind to others, especially because you never know what anybody's going through. Just always assume the best intentions, you know. it's. I know it's easy to assume the worst of people, but sometimes we don't know what people are going through, so... Amen. You know, it's best to just live by just being kind to your, even just to yourself, because sometimes we're not kind to ourselves. I feel like that's probably the biggest thing is, how much times do you hear people say, Oh, I'm so dumb. Oh, I'm so stupid. I think too that's much, right? Kind. Yeah, it's not being kind to yourself. Yeah. If you can't be kind to yourself, then, you know, I feel like... You gotta start with yourself. Yeah, exactly. You live with yourself. You deal with yourself 24-7. I agree. I agree. It's it's really important. And um, I'm, you know, one for... I think I grew up with a lot of negative self-talk, you know? Like, even in my family, we heard it all the time. Like, you know, negative self-talk. But if that's one thing that you can kind of, like, break out of, it really does make your life a lot better. It really does. Because you just feel more proud, happier accomplished you can enjoy things more and that's the hard part is if you were if you don't feel that way you're gonna you're gonna have a tough time so now i'm getting the hardware out so what i'm doing is i'm gonna put these two together so this goes it slides right into this but then you're like well how is this supposed to hold it well that's what these are for so that i'll put these right here to to sustain it and then this is going to be the first part of the crib so we're going to do this twice so now i just have to find the hardware any other questions for me my lady uh, what's the dream you have given up on, Adeline? To be a musician, <laughs> like when I was little, I, I, I still love music. I'm not gonna lie, I still love music and I love all kinds of music. Um, I listen to hip hop, EDM, I listen to rock, I listen to oldies, I listen to 80s music, everything. I feel like everything pretty much catches my attention at some point or, of time. And I really wanted to do music, like I really had that in my heart, like that was like kind of like my mentality when I was like sophomore, junior and senior in high school. I legit thought, I was like, you know what, I think I can do that, I'm going to be a musician. So I would actually produce music, like I had a whole computer set up where I would like create beats and, and try my best to like become a producer. I really like looked up to Kanye West and Dr. Dre at that time, which is back in like 2003, 4, 5, which is like a long time ago, right? Not to date myself. But I really wanted to do that, but then I'll be honest with you, I met Grace and it's just like my mind and my thoughts and my heart really just started going there more often and I just kind of, you know, I guess if the love would have been there more, I probably would have continued with it, but I think I just kind of felt like I was done and I was ready to move on to something else. So I'm, I feel really blessed because I feel like to a degree, 
what happened was some of that passion that I had for making music has now like gone into like making YouTube videos and making stuff for Instagram or TikTok because we have all those. So make sure you check us out. All the links are in the description. But that's something that I enjoy now. So it's not it's like I get to use music, which is really cool because I get to edit music into the videos. I get to um, do things in TikTok. Same thing. You can use sounds. You can use music. So I gave up on the music itself, but it's fun to know that like at least the passion for creating went into something different. What about you, babe? What's a dream that you gave up on? I feel like I have an idea. I feel like I have an idea. Honestly, growing up, I wanted to be a veterinarian. That's what I was thinking. And I, yeah, I, I love animals. I love animals. And I don't know. I just don't think it was for me. Although I would love to care and, you know, provide them, you know, with their health care needs and everything. I just, I don't know. I just, I lost that passion for it. I'd rather just be a pet owner and, you know, help, you know, take them to the vet when needed. I, I completely agree with you. I still love my pets, so. <laughs> yeah, we, we really do. We love our pets. I like the, I like these questions. These questions are cool. I guess what I should say, it's really nice to do something different. Like, how often do you take time with your significant other or a, a best friend or somebody that you care about to just like talk about these kind of things, right? It doesn't happen as often anymore. And I think it's really important, especially if you're in a relationship with somebody, to try and do those things because there was a time, that, you know, when you fell in love and you're like, all you wanted to know was everything about that person, right? Like, you just want to know what they like to eat, what they wanted to do, what they, you know? And I feel like that's still very important to have that that love and that excitement to want to know about that person and what they're up to and what they like to do and, you know, their, their thoughts, their innermost thoughts. <laughs> so these are these little wooden dowels. I know it's kind of hard to see. So you got to make sure that you're using the right hardware. So I need these wooden dowels. I already used some of these. So these are some of the the ones that I'm currently using. Right now. And so Grace will be coming in and out uh, and helping me out here and there and asking me some of these questions to keep the conversation lively. So let me go ahead and get these wooden dowels out and make sure I fix this. Oh my gosh. Just be careful the camera. Yeah, just be careful guys. Say hi kids. Hello. Hola. <laughs> That's getting the angle that that is. Yeah. It's just because sometimes it's hard for people to see. It's the first time I'm doing something like this, kid, so I'm nervous. Your daddy's nervous. I've never seen you ever make a crib. Well, I mean, I've put together cribs. I've just never done it for everybody. <laughs> just be patient with yourself. Don't try to go crazy because it's usually like when mistakes happen and it's expensive to make mistakes in these situations. The only thing I'm just kind of confused as to why this. It seems like this bolt is not. Hey, is it the right one? I'm hoping. Let me see. Oh, you can see the dowel in there? Or is it more for the Because it says C and B. But let me see. Oh, you know what? I see it. I see it. So there's these. Uh, these and I'll let me show you guys. There are these. Um, I believe it's these right here. So these are gonna be used to fasten some of the bolts. So make sure that you, you keep an eye out for that. <laughs> Don't be like me. Don't be like me. So I need these to basically be able to fasten them or else there's nothing to fasten it to. Because it's there's nothing um, drilled specifically for it. Oh my gosh. In the, <laughs> in the actual frame itself. So it needs these. So for this, I'm just gonna slip it in through. Up through here. So there's actually a little hole up through here. This goes like so, and then you take one of these bolts. I try to use my finger first just to kind of guide it in. Then if I need to, then I'll start using the Allen wrench to just tighten it up. Are you ready for another I'm ready question? for another question. Let's go. What is one thing you wish I asked you more? Uh, can I see this on camera? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> No, honestly, sometimes I just, I think it would be cool just to ask me, like, like if I needed just some alone time, but like, not in an angry way, but just like, if I'm like feeling overwhelmed, do you see that I'm feeling overwhelmed? See, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, it's not that I want to not be with my family. It's just, I don't know if you guys get like that sometimes where you just get overstimulated and you just need some time alone. Sometimes if she sees me like that, I, I wouldn't mind if she asked me like, hey, do you need a second? Like, just to kind of like mellow out or whatever. I, I don't think there'd be any harm in that. I wouldn't mind that. But I also, I'll be completely honest with you. 
Grace is the kind of person that will ask you, like, are you okay? What's going on? You look sad. Are you fine? So it's, or do you, are you hungry? Or do you need this? So, I mean, for the most part, I feel pretty happy with how she, like, interacts with me and, like, the questions that she asks me. And, you know, it makes me feel, you know, validated. And I think that's really important in a relationship, right? So. Guys, growing up, I'm telling you, I would spend so much time alone that I just got used to it. And even to this day, even though we've been married for a long time, like, I still feel like that teenage kid in my, you know, in my room just listening to music and on the computer and all that. But I'm not gonna lie, as soon as I'm alone for even like an hour when they go to the store or they do something, I'm already missing them. I'm already bored, I'm already like, God, I wish they were home. Like seriously, it's just, I'm, now I'm starting to get used to that. Not that I'm starting, now I am used to that too, being with my family, so. Okay, what would you wish that I would ask you? I feel, I feel like there's like a million questions, that you, mm -hmm. a million things that you would well, say. Well, I guess, the, yeah, I guess on a similar, like, what do I need in the moment? Or, you know, like, like asking me if I need help with anything or not just help, but you know, like if there's anything I need to do. Yeah. I know I feel like I do need to do that more often it's hard because I've been kind of like I'm the kind of person that I just you know something happens to me like I focus on what's going on with me and that's okay you know like it's okay but it's not you know you gotta like kind of like check in with everybody in your home make sure everybody's doing all right that's always been the hard part for me um, especially you, when I get emotional you do ask sometimes like oh do you need me to take out the trash or something like that you know like or do you need me to have the kids start getting ready for bed like those kind of things like I, I like you know I try, I try, because honestly, like, when you first get married young, um, you're just learning. You're just, like, learning how to, how to be a family, really. You might feel like a family, you might love each other and everything's great, but you're still learning. You're still, like, learning how to, like, have your dynamics because not every day is great, right? There's some days where some terrible things can happen, you know? You lose somebody or you lose a job or things that you don't anticipate so it, it, you gotta learn how to like find the balance it's freaking hard i'm not gonna lie because not everybody's the same we all have different ambitions different feelings but i think if you really care about somebody even if you argue about these things you eventually come to a consensus and you learn how to live together and love each other and support each other's visions and dreams next question how did you describe me to your friends when you first met me well i mean it's kind of a precarious position because when i first met grace I pretty much met her with my friends, so I don't really feel like there's a lot of like describing. I guess the only thing I can say, um, and it's not so much describing as much just my thoughts, is like, I was just like, man, that girl is really hot, like, because I had saw her picture on MySpace, so this is how long ago it was. So I saw her picture on MySpace and I, and I knew her through her friends, so when I saw her picture, I was just like, wow, she's pretty hot, like, I, I liked her smile, I, I don't know, I just thought she was great looking. and. I hadn't met her yet. And then not too long after that, we met, um, you know, and we were at like swimming together and all that, but we didn't really talk. It was really awkward. And then afterwards, like I told her like I would hug her, but I didn't know her. So it made it even like that much more awkward. And so, I don't know, like when I, when I started talking to my friends about her, like it was more like, man, I like that girl. Like, I think I have a crush on her. Like, I think I'm gonna ask her out kind of like situation. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, and my friends always thought she was really nice too. Like they, they, you know what I mean. I think they all were really happy that I found a girl that, you know, was a good balance for me. Somebody that you know helped me calm down and, but also like just enjoy to be, you know, having fun. And I feel like the thing with Grace is I've taught her how to just kind of let go sometimes too. You know, I would like to believe that I've never or that I encouraged change. her. You'll never change. Anything. Well, just like YouTube, right? YouTube's. One of those things that I feel like I've kind of, you know, I didn't force Grace to do, but I think like, I was just kind of like, let's try it out, let's try it. And we tried it and look at where we're at right now, years later, right? We're just still doing this. I don't think she ever would have done it if it wasn't for me. And there's things that I've done that if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't have done too. Like, it's funny, eating steak, you know, yeah. like eating steak. Like I had never had steak before I met Grace, which is funny to say, like, and then I met Grace and Grace was like, you no, we went to go eat steak, or we went to go eat, and she got a steak, and then she's like, try it out. And I told her, I was like, I don't really like steak. She's like, try it out. And then I remember <laughs> I fell in love with steak that, that day. And so, you know, we encourage each other to like, go outside of our comfort zone. I'm almost done with this whole side already. Check this out. 
Remember, don't tighten too tight. Just tight enough. Because if you go too tight, you're gonna crack the wood. Bam. I'm blind, don't they won't let me out. <laughs> That's they the won't let me out. <laughs> I'm blind. How do you want to do your not Honestly, like, I, I think, you know, we have a YouTube channel, guys. You know, we're out in the public. We're not famous by any stretch of the imagination. But I think, like, the way that I would like to be remem remembered is as somebody who gave a lot to society who, like, in a positive way. So whether by trying to be positive and showing that positivity to people or, you know, inspiring people to do something they want to do, you know, I basically want to be, you know, like, remembered as somebody who was inspirational, who was, who loved his family, like, who, um, was a good friend, loyal friend, and who hopefully was a good son as well. So I just, just positive things. And also somebody who just was very ambitious and never gave up. Cause I feel like that's one thing I've always tried to be is very ambitious. I know like for some people ambition is not a good thing, but for me, I feel just, I don't know. I love being ambitious. If you could know one thing about our future, what would it be? Um, when we'll get a house. When we will get a house and stuff. Nah, yeah, I think that's my because we really want a house, guys. If you notice, like I said, we very simple room. A lot of things we've thrown away. A lot of things we don't put up or gotten rid of because we are really hopeful that we'll be able to move sooner than later. Sooner than later. So yeah, I want to know what kind of house we're gonna have, where we're gonna buy a house. Um, I'll go back and forth. Yeah, like is it gonna be a big house, little house? Is it gonna be? A brand new one is it gonna be something that was pre-built like you know what I mean like I don't know just I'm just interested in that what about you babe yeah the same thing I want to know um, you know for our future like when are we gonna get a house like what you know is our house gonna look like how many, you know where is our house gonna be you know? the next question is do you believe in the concept of soulmates I do I mean it just depends on what you think a soulmate is but I do I think if you're with somebody who you just, that's your family, you can't imagine yourself without them, and you fight for each other through the hard times, through the good times, you, you know, enjoy them, and yeah, I mean, I do believe that. I believe that sometimes, you know, things can happen, and, you know, because it's real life, but I do believe in soulmates. What about you, babe? Yeah, I would say so. Sometimes it's hard because I think a lot of people don't think that soulmates are meant to be. But some people do. I don't know. It's kind of weird. It's kind of hard to explain. Yeah, I mean, if you, I feel like we all have energy. We're not for everybody, you know what I mean? We're, and we find somebody who, you know, we're meant to be with. Like, you know, for me with Grace, like, I never, I don't know what kind of girl I was going to be with. I didn't know who was going to be my wife because I couldn't envision it because I, it's hard. It's hard to envision who's going to fall in love with you and, like, be madly in love with you. And, you know, I got lucky with Grace because I felt that way too, you know, but it doesn't happen for everybody. But that's why I do believe in soulmates because I'm like, it happened like at the right time. It happened at the time where it needed to happen. Yeah, exactly. Do you remember the first gift you gave me? What was it and why did you? I think the first, like, if I, we're talking about gifts, gifts was like when we went to Best Buy um, on our like second date, I think it was. Yeah, it was our second And so I had been working at Best Buy for a couple months um, when I met Grace. And so at that time it was really cool, like I would get a discount on certain things and I just, you know, it was really nice. Like I know she wanted a couple CDs, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna hook you up. Like I got you. So we ended up going to Best Buy and um, I got her like two CDs. I got like, which one? Like uh, 30 Seconds to Mars. 30 Seconds to and Mars. Pitbull. And Pitbull. Yep, and the yeah. Pitbull album. Yeah, it was one of Which one was it? It was um, the Miami one. Something like that, Miami. And then like the... Uh, 30 Seconds to Mars one was like what Attack or something like that yeah. or yeah so I got her both those albums and I think like that was my way of like getting her like a little gift and yeah and it was really cool because like at that time you could like uh, <coughs> duplicate CDs and I remember Grace was like here you can borrow it so you can make these CDs for yourself and it was really cool I gave you a copy yeah basically um, the first gift I gave you I feel like it's not really a gift but I bought you lunch <laughs> Yeah, she bought me Subway. That was, the first. that was a very memorable day. Yes, it was. Very memorable day. <laughs> Almost, see? We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Alright, if we could recreate one day from our relationship, what day would you choose? Ooh, that's hard. I know, huh? Um, so obviously, like, the, the typical answer, and so, obviously, would be the days that our kids were born or the days that we got married. So I know that most people will answer that. So 
for that matter, yes, that's probably one of the days, like one of those days would be it. But to make it interesting, to choose something different, there's a couple of days. One of the first days, like the top one probably would be when we went to Monterey. Yeah. Like when we went to Monterey for our anniversary, like two, yeah, three years two, ago. three years ago, three years ago. And um, we had like the best, it was the most romantic. And it was during kind of like COVID times. There was a lot of precautions. We took our precautions. We wore masks everywhere we went. It was, it was still cool. It was still such a fun time. And uh, it was super romantic. I remember that much. It was like super romantic. So it was such a fun time. We had a beachfront hotel. So it was really crazy because the tide came in and the, basically you couldn't see beach anymore. The water was right up against our hotel, which was exciting yet scary but beautiful especially in the morning because it was just so calm and serene and you can just see the like out in the ocean it was the best so that would probably be the number one day but there's also another day that really stands out to me too which is kind of funny because it's not like a like a super like big day but it was like i feel like it changed a lot of what we like which was like he chen last year so HHN last year, we got a chance to hang out with like some of our favorite people and go into some scary, you know, haunted houses and, you know, really get to know and love HHN. So that would probably be like my second choice because that was, that was yeah, such a fun night, honestly. Different first. That was Which is such funny a fun because night. obviously number one for me would be Monterey. And then I would say number two would be the first time we ever went to Universal Studios. Ooh, that's a good time too. So we went to Universal Studios in 2021. So yeah, 2021. We went for our anniversary. That's basically when we got introduced to a lot of the theme park community. So if you're watching us from our theme park videos and all that, like, thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much for watching this as well. But that's when we got introduced to a lot of our friends. Like a lot of like basically because of theme parks. Maybe not that specific day when we went to Uni the first time, but eventually that really like kind of like opened up that that whole door for us. And now we're. You know, we do a little bit of everything, guys. As you can see, we do a little bit of uh, a little bit of theme parks, a little bit of travel, everything. That's something we used to do at the beginning of our relationship. Oh, sure. the most. Huh. <laughs> Picking me up from my parents' house. <laughs> I would say the excitement of seeing her after not seeing her, like for super, like you know, sometimes I go like two or three days without seeing her because I worked and. Her parents were a lot more conservative and so they didn't always like approve even though she still did it which I, I didn't like putting her through a lot of crap with her family so you know i wanted her to be respectful to her parents as much as possible sometimes we wouldn't see each other for like two or three days and so when i would pick her up i was just like i don't know like we were just so smoochy smoochy kissy kissy we just missed each other so much and it made it special and then also i'll be honest with you and it sounds kind of funny but eventually like she started spending the night with me and my mom's and before we moved out this is like right before we moved out this is how we knew we wanted to live together but it was always so exciting because usually it was on the weekend so on the weekend i'd go and i'd pick up grace and then like she'd spend the night like and i would take her home like if i had to go to work i would take her home in the mornings and it was like basically our dress rehearsal for living together and we just loved it like we loved being around each other like it went from like it went from me wanting to spend time with the boys and like being like, oh, what are we gonna do tonight? To like looking forward to being with her for the weekend and if I do something, doing it with her and all that stuff. So those are the kind of things that I miss because it was exciting, but now we live together, so we get to do it all the time. <laughs> so it's pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty happy about that. What about you, babe? Uh, hmm, what's the thing? I don't know, I mean, I feel like we have a lot of fun now, but you know, like, in really... a different way, you know? Yeah, like I think that was why it was hard for me too because I feel like a lot of the things that we didn't do when we dated, because we didn't do a lot of this stuff, we do now. And so now, if anything, it feels like we're like a, a whole brand new relationship because now we're doing even more things than we did when we were first dating. We didn't have money when we were first dating. We were very much starting out, you know, on our own, so. Yeah, we were very young, so. Yeah, we weren't going to Vegas. We weren't, you know, taking vacations. We weren't going on cruises. We're we're happy if we can do a garden asada at home, you know what I mean, and watch like a fun. yeah, and watch a movie or a, a wrestling pay per view. We used to love watching like WWE pay per views, so we would ha like have carne asada and do that. That was like literally our that was our fun, and now our fun consists of like going to Universal Studios or going to the beach. So we've actually I feel like we've kicked it up. If anything, I'm ha I have more fun now than I've ever had. So I got this one too. All right, so I got both of these done. It shouldn't take too much longer, honestly. It doesn't look like it's gonna take much longer at all. Next question. 
Have I changed your worldview in any big or small way? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, like I was telling Grace, like a lot of times, like in my family, like you know, my mom or my dad could be a little negative, you know, and I love them, but yeah, they would look at things and be like, you don't need this or you don't want that, blah, blah, blah. But Grace kind of has encouraged me more to like just, if I want something, do it. A lot of times you can even ask her, I'll be like, no babe, like, uh, you know, like, and I get nervous and I'll be like super nervous and she'll be like, why are you so nervous? Yeah, just because I'm so used to like having to hold back and you know. So Grace has taught me really how to let go and not feel guilty about having a good time because, and you know, in some people's families, like being happy is almost like, like you're doing something bad. Yeah. And I love you, mom. Te quiero mucho, mamá. I love my mom a lot, but it's true. My mom, I think my mom had a lot of guilt if she felt like she was having too much fun or enjoying life too much, which is weird. You know, you shouldn't feel that way. So Grace taught me how to just be happier, really. Honestly, seriously. Yeah, it never made sense to me. <laughs> well, no, and I think, I'm glad that it never made sense to you because you don't do that to our kids. You let our kids enjoy their life, you know? And you let me do YouTube. <laughs> That's a I big do. one. I That's gave a... you permission. I said, go ahead. Yeah. Well, yeah, because you know we're putting our family business and out there, and we're we're showing people like literally we're building our crib and we're over here filming it. Having you support that and saying, you know what, if that's what makes you happy, if you want to do a YouTube video, that means a lot to me. That means everything to me. Because imagine like having to hold back on your dreams or your aspirations or things that you like because somebody in your life that you love is telling you that you're that's too much. You're doing too much. You need to calm down. You shouldn't be that happy. You shouldn't care that much. You know, like that's not cool. If anything, you should be embracing each other's like goals and aspirations and trying each other's best and trying best to facilitate that. Not always is that possible. Not always is that possible. But if you can, cool. And if you can't, then that's a different story. Right? What about what about me to you? Um. Well, I feel like you definitely gave me confidence to um, explore the world and definitely like trust that I could do something with my life more than what maybe I, you know, I guess I feared could be possible. I think like we both kind of inspired each other to just go for it, go for whatever you want. All right, so we just finished these two rails right now. So it took us about, well, it took me about like 45 minutes. It could have been a lot quicker, but we're over here uh, chatting it up with you guys and having a good time. But we're going to move on to this part now. I'm about to get started on the rest of it. Let's get this finished up. Let's get this finished up. So I'm gonna need one of these longer ones. Yes. So and I'm trying not to hit everything, but of course I hit things. So what I'll do is I'll grab this, I'll start it so that way I can move on to the next one. And then after that I'll tighten. Do you need my Uh actually yeah. Would you mind lifting it up just yes. like this if it's not too heavy? So Grace is helping me here because honestly I, I needed the help. And so I have to do this for both sides. So I'm gonna I'm not gonna tighten them just yet. What I'm gonna do is like I said, I'm gonna get them as tight as I need to for them to be sustained. And then I'm gonna move on to the other side and then I'm gonna tighten. So that way in case anything is like off, I can kind of like fix it at that point. Actually, let me see if we can push this back a little bit. Yeah, that's cool. It's coming together. This is not very difficult at all, like honestly. And I'm doing all this by hand. I'm not even using the Allen wrench just yet. Once this crib is done, we'll be ready for sure. <laughs> She'll have a place to sleep. Yeah, and we got the mattress too. The mattress is just, um, yeah. we got it in the living room yes. right now. And the mattress is sold separately, guys. It doesn't come with the crib. Yeah. And make sure you guys are careful with that because a lot of cribs don't come with the mattress. Like I've seen mini cribs that come with mattresses. Just the mini cribs. Yeah. Okay. Plus, I, I kind of, when I was looking for this one, I was sticking to a specific price range. I didn't go over a specific price range, and maybe the more higher ones. end ones were probably maybe have like a mattress or furniture. It's um, like a little blemish right here. Is it really? Yeah. It's right. it's bound to happen, honestly. The, yeah, those things are bound to happen, guys. So just but it's not terrible. Yeah, I mean, you can always call. You can always take it back, but just, just remember, it's gonna be a big hassle for that part. And kids are really good at messing up their cribs anyways, for the most part it feels like, so don't don't stress out too much about it. Are you ready for a question? Yeah, talk to me a question. Okay, so now the next part is going to be the part that uh, supports the mattress. We're almost done guys, we're almost done. Got to go through this way. Alright guys, as you guys can see, we put together the bed support, so the mattress support. Check it out guys, so we got the bed support set up. So basically you just got to put the screws in right here. But we got all the support set up, so we just have to put on 
the next part of the crib, which is pretty much going to be the last part of the crib, but not too bad, not too shabby. What do you think, babe? I love it. That's, it honestly, I feel like this is the fastest you've ever put a crib together. I know. And the last... So far, so far, <laughs> least frustrating crib we've had to put together. I agree. Let's hope it uh, stays that way. <laughs> so I just, I can hear the rain in the background. We kind of have the window open a little bit. Oh, it's really it's nice. So uh, soothing. Vibes, everybody, vibes. <laughs> All right, so I want to finish this up. I want to finish this up. Actually, I'm going to mount a TV in a little bit, but this was like my prime directive. This is what I had to get done first, but here you go. All right, let's get the rest of this done. So, my question is for you, what question would you have for me? Like, any question. What question would I have for you? If you could change one thing about me, what would you change? <laughs> I don't know why, that question popped up, like, right away in my head. I actually saw that question, but I was like, oh, you know, like, I don't know. I don't mind, I just, those, just don't be mean, please. <laughs> just don't be mean. <laughs> be good to me. Well, first of all, I'd change your hair color. Thank you. Me? I'm joking. <laughs> I just don't think that hair color suits you anymore. Oh, I appreciate it. <laughs> change you need a you need an upgrade just kidding i will dye my hair tomorrow <laughs> one thing i would change about you i would just add a little extra patience i think i think yeah i think you, giving you a little extra patience would you know be the only thing i would say for you i agree you've gotten better over the years like with your patience i i love who you are and i wouldn't change like any part of your personality so these holes there's a bunch of holes on the side here those are to adjust the height of the crib. Yeah. So are you gonna want the crib this low? Uh, maybe not till she's older, right? So I'm gonna have to take this all apart again then. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna readjust it. So let me, um, we're gonna have to do this again. Yeah, I'm sorry, I should have mentioned that too, that you know, like, um, like adjusting the levels to like where yeah. we are. Anyways, what would you change about me? Honestly, I That's would such just- such a harsh question. <laughs> No, honestly, I wouldn't change anything about you, but the only thing I would add is I would just wish that you were a little bit more carefree about certain things. Like, I don't want you to always feel like stressed out about things that can happen or go wrong. Because, you know, at the end of the day, sometimes like, I feel like that holds you back from wanting to do things that you maybe would have a lot of fun doing. Or that you feel scared enough to where it just, it could potentially not make an experience fun. And I don't like that. I don't like seeing you stressed out so if i could say i would just say hopefully with time things could just you feel more comfortable doing certain things and not feel so stressed out especially because we have the kids ever since we had the kids i think you know obviously grace's number one goal like mine is to keep the kids safe and healthy you know but i love seeing my kids play around i don't care if they trip and fall as long as they're okay they got to learn how to pick themselves back up in more ways than one because life is full of obstacles like that. Yeah, I want us all to just live in the moment. Can I make it like this? Just, yeah, just hold it up. I'm not out about right now. Oh, yeah, seriously guys, it's raining so much. So I love the rain, so I'm not mad at it at all. Try letting it go. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's go. Yeah, so if you notice, the mattress support is a lot taller now. So since it's a brand new baby, it's a, it's a newborn baby, we don't need anything too tall. If anything, we want to be able to like kind of do it really quickly, be able to change your diapers. Just uh, be able to lay her down comfortably. You know how sometimes, you know, some babies are light sleepers. Yeah. As soon as you play them down, they're like, oh wait, who do you think was more nervous on our first date? Me. I honestly think I was more nervous. Why? Because I had never been in a serious relationship and that was the first time I ever went like on a real like we're dating date, you know? Versus just like you wanna hang out? Yeah, let's hang out. So it was just more nerve wracking for me because like I don't know if you guys yeah, if you're like getting to know somebody and you're like, oh let's hang out, you know, you just hang out, right? Yeah. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's a date, it doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna go anywhere. It's just two people kinda just spending time together. But when you actually say we're gonna date, we're going on a date. I know that the expectation is like we like each other. Yeah. Let's see if we yeah. can take this further. Yeah, exactly. There's a possibility of the So it, it made me nervous because I really liked her and I didn't want her to not like me. You know, I wanted her to like me just as much as I liked her. So I was nervous. I was incredibly nervous. It was my first, like I said, real legit, real deal date. 19 years old, still my first one. Okay. What do you think? I, I think I was really nervous. To the point where I was even a little late. 
<laughs> like, what do you mean you were late because you didn't want to go, or you just no, needed a second? No, I just, I just think I just wanted everything to be perfect because yeah. I had went shopping for an outfit and you know just getting ready. You know, I just wanted everything to be perfect. Yeah. All right. Same here. I think I cut my hair. If I remember correctly, I probably even washed my car. That's funny because I felt like I was nervous and you felt like you were nervous, but I felt like you weren't nervous. I was nervous. I'm just, you know, I just was talking to you, but when you are with somebody that you know you're going to be with or you think you're going to be with, you it's easy as hell to have conversations, to find things that you want to talk about, to spend time together because she liked the same food that I like. She liked a lot of the same bands that I like. She liked, she had, we had similar friends. We had mutual friends. So it was a lot of stuff in common, but then we were also very different. So it just kind of like was intriguing. You know, we both, I think we both were excited, obviously both nervous, but that's what made it fun is because we both kind of, I think we just wanted to go out with each other, <laughs> right? Like, you know, it wasn't like one of those things where I felt like either one of us were like, eh, I guess. It was more than that. I felt like we were both very excited to see each other and to be around each other. What would you relive from your childhood if you could? Like moments or just anything in general or what? Uh, anything in general or your moments? Or... I, I loved when we would go like visit my family in LA and like it was just me and my cousins and we'd like would play and just have the best time ever. Those are some really fond moments that I remember. But I'm gonna be straight up with you. Something that tops that is Mexico. So being a kid and going to Mexico and spending time over there, eating the food, spending time with my grandma, my grandpa, my family, because my grandparents aren't with us anymore. So doing all those things, uh, I wish I could do that again. Because at that time my parents were still married, my parents are no longer married either. So it's just a lot has changed. So it'd be really cool to go back and be able to experience that again one more time, so. I would say, yeah, I think just being really young for me and doing things with my parents and my siblings, you know, like all the fun times that we had. I kind of understand where Grace is coming from. Like even going to the mall with my parents one yeah, more time as a kid, too. you know, it would be cool. Getting down to the nitty gritty, I'm almost done. A couple more screws and we're done, friends. Can you believe it, babe, this quick? I know, that was fast, honestly. I've been really lucky that I haven't cracked anything. Yeah. <laughs> it happens, guys, it happens, believe it or not. This script is cool, like, it's, it doesn't feel too cheap. How would you describe my sense of humor? Uh, twisted. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> like, you, you will not know Grace's sense of humor unless you get close to her. So it's not one of those things where like you can gauge what her sense of humor is like right away. You kind of have to get to know her first. I tell her all the time, I go, babe, you take it zero to 100 real quick. Oh. So it's just a lot of good, fun times that we have. But yeah, Grace is definitely, she's fun. Um, but she's also very like, she could be very funny in a cheesy way too. She's awesome. How would I describe your sense of humor to see? You make me laugh all the time. Yeah. Pretty comedic, I would say. I try. <laughs> I try. I was raised by 90s sitcoms, so that's pretty much my comedy sense, I feel like. Just about finishing up, what I'm going to try to do real quick, guys, is just kind of go around and tighten up the bolts that I feel like maybe need a little more tightening. If I lost my memory, what would be the first thing you tell me about us? That we have kids. That we're married and have kids. I would try to, like, just, like, real quick, I'm just going to let you know we're married. We have kids. <laughs> And that's probably the first thing I would try to do. Yeah, I would tell you the same thing, that we love each other, we're married, um, we have kids. You know, if if, the, if that ever were to happen, I would say we've, you know, we've been together for X amount of years, yeah. you know? I would try to like jog your memory, basically, yeah. the same thing. All right, guys, so I'm officially done with the crib. Let me give you guys a quick little tour of it. So this is the crib fully completed. As you guys can see here, got the mattress support in there. And yeah, just a nice standard crib, nothing too crazy, but the baby girl's gonna love it. It's white, so I, I love that too. Yeah. But yeah, and then we have it set up with the higher, you know, with the higher settings for the mattress support, so that way it's easier to get her in and out, um, especially since she's gonna be a newborn, but we're done, we're done. All right, friends, well, that does it. We got the crib built. It's beautiful it didn't get too damaged it has like a little blemish yeah, right here but uh, that wasn't from us putting it together no it was from shipping most likely honestly yeah. probably from shipping but that is something that you can expect when you're getting furniture shipped make sure that you check it if it's something that's like this and it's going to really bother you 
usually you have the option of returning it or exchanging it. Right. Just check your store's policy, especially like with Target, if you get it from Target, check Target's policy on returns as well. Um, the only thing that we have to do is put the mattress in. Put the mattress on, put the fitted sheet on, give you guys a picture. I'll probably put like a little blanket, make it look nice. So we're gonna go ahead and call it right now. We're gonna, we have to mount the TV, believe it or not. So that's the next thing I'm gonna do right now. So I'm gonna be mounting our TV that we have right over here. We just wanna say a big special thank you so much um, for following along on our pregnancy journey. Like we mentioned, babe, yeah. we're almost there. This is probably gonna be our last pregnancy update. I think so. And so just keep an eye out. Um, you know, we do have a couple live streams coming up. So if you guys are uh, channel subscribers, go over to our channel page. Click over to our uh, playlist and you'll be able to see various different videos right there uh, but yeah you know we were so happy to be able to share this journey with you guys it's been crazy because it's gone by incredibly fast like super fast but it's gonna be really dope to look back and kind of see everything that we've done and just the whole journey and more than anything like I said we appreciate you guys and we appreciate that you guys have been here to follow along but um, if you enjoyed the video make sure you hit that like button if you're new to our channel and you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button and we'll see you guys on the next one take care happy holidays peace